precautions to be taken when such heavy rains pour in your city and submerge like in this video. You are stuck in heavy rains way back home from office and your car is submerged till your engine. You try to fire up your engine by turning on your ignition and bam it refuses to turn on. This is the time you know that you are in big trouble. First and foremost thing you have to do is do not panic. Watch this video till the end without skipping to safeguard you and your loved car out of this mess. Hello all welcome to Totally Explored. I am your host Harika Shan. What to do when your car has flooded in the rain like shown. The very first thing you should have done was to turn around and find another route. However, you now have a car that is stuck in the water and is going anywhere. Watch these 7 steps and let it sink into your mind so that you can protect yourself and your loved car. 1. Do not try turning the car on. This cannot be stressed any stronger. Water can damage every single component inside a car including the engine and transmission. If you try to turn the engine on and more water enters, the problem only worsens. When water damages the engine and the pistons don't compress or move like they normally should, it is called hydrolock, and it is extremely common in flooded cars. If your car is hydrolocked, you can expect the cost of repairs to be extremely high and in severe cases, the car could completely be destroyed. 2. If your car is stuck on road, midway and submerged minus. Say for example you are driving home back from office and midway a heavy rain poured for hours and every road is flooded with water and entire traffic is jammed. Obviously in such a case your two gets fully submerged with you inside it. In such a case, do not panic. Fully switch off the engine, pull out your key, and put it in your pants pocket. Wait until rain subsides and now take all your valuables like office laptops, files, mobiles etc. Now, slowly come out of your car and try to climb up onto your car and sit there. Take a few breaths. Relax. Check if your mobile has signal. If so call your friends or family or helpline number. In case of no mobile signal, call for locals help. In India no one leaves you wounded on the roads. Indians are definitely big hearted people. They will surely take you out of this mess. 3. If your car is parked in your basement and basement gets waterlogged minus. In this case you need not be worried as much as an earlier case where you were stuck on road midway, but you definitely be worried of your car and your belongings inside. Get to your car as soon as possible. If water level is low, open your car take all belongings and remember never ever switch on your car's ignition like in any other cases explained here. Check if you can secure your car onto higher ground, only if water level is below your engine level. If not just leave it there and get indoors for your safety. If you have watched this video so far, I am pretty sure you are liking it. A subscribe and a like to my channel is what motivates me to bring you great content. Please pause here, do a subscribe and a like, and let's continue further. 4. Get as much of the water out of your car. When water remains stagnant for long periods of time it is capable of doing extensive damage to anything it comes in contact with. The wiring and mechanical components are the first things that can get damaged so you will have to work fast. Once all the water level goes down to a safe level, go check your cars inside. If you find puddles of water inside your car, you will have to get rid of them as soon as possible. If you have a wet dry vacuum cleaner, you can remove the puddles quickly or you can use towels to soak up the water and remove it from the cabin. If you are using a vacuum cleaner, make sure it is not a regular one as you could get electrocuted in the process. 5. Keep your car well ventilated. Simply removing the water from your car doesn't solve your problems. You need to immediately start drying the areas that were flooded. If there is enough sunlight near where your car is parked simply roll down the windows, open all the doors, and let the heat from the sun work its magic. If there is not sufficient sunlight, you can park your car in an open space and use electric or battery operated fans to dry out the damp areas. A fan will also help remove any foul odors and keep mold and mildew away. If your car was not severely flooded but the cabin remained wet, you can use the heaters in your car to dry the interiors quickly. Just make sure that the engine was not damaged. 6. Ventilate your car minus. 
Once you have successfully removed the water buildup from the cabin and other places in the car, you will have to work just as fast to dry the affected areas. If there is enough sunlight near where your car is parked simply roll down the windows, open all the doors, and let the heat from the sun work its magic. If there is not sufficient sunlight, you can park your car in an open space and use an electric table or standing fan to dry out the damp areas. A fan will also help remove any foul odors and keep mold and mildew away. If your car was not severely flooded but the cabin remained wet, you can use the heaters in your car to dry the interiors quickly. Just make sure that the engine was not damaged. 7. Car not starting minus. The deciding minute. After all these precautions taken you must be able to run your car normally. In few cases, you try to fire up your engine by turning on your ignition and bam it refuses to turn on. This is the time you will have to call your car company's helpline number and get it towed to their service center. A dehydrolocking process needs to be done on your damaged engine by water entering inside it. Take care of all of these said precautions in this video and keep yourself and your loved car safe for that next rainy season. Please do drive safely and responsibly. Be a part in making our roads more safer for tomorrow.